Hello again, I'm Scott Florence and today I'm going to be explaining what is quantum teleportation. Now in order to explain what quantum teleportation is, I need to explain what quantum entanglement is. Now quantum entanglement is when you have two particles and you make them interact. These interacted particles are now in superposition, which I explained in a previous video. Now when one of these particles are measured, however far apart these two entangled particles are, when one of them is measured, it, its measurement affects the other one. And it affects the other one however far away it is, simultaneously, even if one of them is experiencing relativistic effects. Now, the way that quantum teleportation works is you start off with two entangled particles, which in this case are going to be the apples. And these two particles have already interacted and they are already entangled and I've not measured either of them yet. And I just get one of these and leave it elsewhere. Then what I do is get a particle that I want to teleport, which is going to be this apple, which I've cut a chunk out of so you can keep track of how they are. Now what I do now is I entangle these two particles the one that I want to teleport and one of the ones that are already entangled. I have them interact so they are now entangled. Now that these two particles are in, I can go and look at if it had previously thrown away. That was entangled with the second particle. Now if I measure this particle I wouldn't find what I would have otherwise expected which would be something unique to itself. Instead what I would find is it's very similar to the particle that I wanted to teleport. Now you can teleport particles in terms of quantum states for instance, states such as their spin. And if I was to teleport this particle with a certain spin, the finishing particle that could be on the other side of the universe and instantly gets the same state as the first particle, most likely it would not be identical to the first particle. Most likely what you'll have is the equivalent of a particle with spin vectors that may or may not have been minused in either and or the horizontal and vertical directions. Now the name of quantum teleportation is a bit misleading. It's not exactly teleportation as such. Instead it's more like long distance cloning because you still have the particle that you first set off with. You just also have a particle that can be rotated in order to be exactly like the original particle. But yet another problem with it is that you require the same type of particle in the place that it would end up. Now I'm sure something that you're all asking is could this work for us? Could we be teleporting around the place? Well, as I've previously said, the original you would still be there. There'd just be a clone out there if it eventually does become possible to use quantum teleportation in order to teleport you. Also, it requires exactly the same particles as build you on the other side. In theory, it could work like the Star Trek teleporters because essentially what a teleporter is is destroying the original you and rebuilding that exactly the same you elsewhere, which quantum teleportation could do so long as the original you is destroyed. That's all for now. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll see you next time.